Injection of medication directly into the blood and muscle can be performed when oral drug therapies are ineffective. The purpose of this video is to show how to perform this type of injection procedure with the bony disposable needle. The procedure will be presented by Katinka Rademeka, physician's assistant. She is working at the VU Medical Center in Amsterdam under the supervision of Professor Bemenmans. She will review the equipment requirements for the injections and demonstrate the intradetrusor injection procedure. Injecting medication into the bladder may be performed using either a rigid or a flexible cystoscope. The demonstration with a rigid cystoscope, a 20 Charriere Storch cystoscope with a 30 degree optical lens will be used. The different elements of the cystoscope are the sheet, the lens, working element and an adapter used to maintain water tightness. The use of an obturator is optional. The needle is passed first through the adapter then through the working channel of the cystoscope. The adapter is then connected to the working channel to maintain water tightness. When the needle reaches the end of the scope, the cap is removed and the needle slightly retracted inside the sheet. The system comprising of the cystoscope and the needle is now ready. With a flexible cystoscope we need only the scope and the needle. For the demonstration we will use an Olympus cystoscope and need to use a 70 cm bernier needle. The needle is inserted with its cap first through the adapter Then through the working channel of the cystoscope, the adapter is then connected to the working channel to maintain water tightness. When it reaches the end of the scope, the cap is removed and the needle slightly retracted into the scope. The system comprising of the cystoscope and the needle is now ready for use. An oral antibiotic is given to the patient as prophylactic treatment. Generally, this treatment should last 6 days starting 3 days prior and ending 3 days after the bladder injections are performed. 20 minutes prior to the injections, the patient is catheterized to empty their bladder. A 40 ml solution of lidocaine 2% is instilled to provide bladder anesthesia. If required, the patient may also be given sedative treatment. After 20 minutes, the bladder is rinsed with saline solution. The bladder is then filled with saline water as per the standard cystoscopy procedure. Once we have the needle in the cystoscope, we first need to prime the air from the needle with 2 ml of saline water. We then connect the syringe containing the medication to the needle lubricate the cystoscope and introduce into the bladder in standard fashion. Once we are in the bladder, we inspect it to visualize the trigone and the urethric orifices, which will be spared during the procedure. We place the cystoscope between the two urethric orifices 
and we advance the needle to be able to see the tip entirely. We then flush the needle with 2 ml of the solution containing the medication. With the medication we are using for this demonstration, a total of 20 injections with 1 ml will be evenly distributed into the detrusal wall and dome, spaced approximately 1 cm apart and 1 cm above the trigone. The injections will be done in three lines. We select an injection site without blood vessels and we push the needle into the bladder wall. As the tip of the bony needle is only 4 mm, we can push it in to the needle neck. We inject 1 ml of the solution. In some cases, we may be able to see a bulb appear at the injection site. When all the injections are completed, we drain the bladder of the saline. The patient can then return home.